Never before, my children, never before have I come like I will now come. Never before has there been a season on earth like what is now here, and never will there be again. Just as I have taught you that there is an appointed time for all things in my design, there are an immeasurable amount of details that must be in place, so to speak, in order that my word is fulfilled in all accuracy and truth. I have taught you that position is of the utmost importance, and this is not only for you as a being made in my image to fulfill your purpose here, but the positioning of all things created must be aligned in its proper order across the earth, and then the point of my collective manifestation occurs in my people. Never before has the fullness of time come, when all facets of my design are in harmony. Never before have the necessary prophecies come to pass in order that the earth is ripe for my arrival. Never before has evil been called good and good evil to such a degree, so that the enemy has been given power like never before to deceive in order that all is fulfilled. Before I intervene, I have allowed the darkness to reach the fullness of the limits I have put on it in order that its full face is revealed for what it is. In doing this, and before I now manifest through my first fruit's body, souls have been given a choice, either for me or against me. There has been a separation of my first fruit's bride from the larger remaining group according to the experience in intimacy each soul has attained. I tell you now, children, that your wait is over as I intervene to reveal evil for what it is, as you, my vessels, are now prepared for the Master's goodwill and pleasure, and as you are ready to receive your King and Groom, so I will now come for my jewels those who have been tested and refined by fire, the third I have brought out from the whole, in order that I may have an army to display myself through, as my presence invades the earth, bringing the kingdom here, all things on earth as it is in heaven. In this, the veil of deception is torn, and all will be exposed for what it is. No longer will evil have a place to hide from the presence of the great I am. As I pour and I pour and I pour out through my instruments of righteousness, and collectively you shatter the darkness. All lies will be confessed and exposed. All unrighteousness and wickedness will surface as the light of my glory through you overshadows them in all radiance and brilliance. All the dark kingdom will attempt to run in great terror at the sight of you, great fear overtaking them, but there will be nowhere to hide. A great, great shaking comes both for those who call themselves mine, but who have compromised, especially those in teaching and pastoral positions, false prophets leading many away from me, as well as all those who confess me with their lips, but whose hearts are far from me. A distinct and great separation is here, one like never before has occurred on the earth. You can hear the rumble now at my approach, dear ones, as the shofar for you is about to sound. This first time, only those who walk in complete obedience and surrender will hear the sounds of the call of your king, groom and captain of hosts. I come now as a thief in the night to those whose oil is full, to strengthen you, to fill you to overflowing, to indwell completely your vessels, 
transforming you into my image and empowering you with all power and authority given to me from my Father for you to complete the work we have begun in you and to fulfill the purpose for which you have come to the earth in this age. The great rescue for the remaining ones will then commence for all those who are lost, broken, weary, the handicapped and the lame, the blind and the deaf, all those who are forgotten, abused, neglected, trafficked, beaten, tortured and abandoned. As my word states, you will rescue the lowliest of the low, those this world considers less than human, displaying the incredible mercy and love I have for all those made in my image. This is why I say, there has never been a season like this. I have never before come collectively to manifest all my glory to my children. This is the meaning in my word that you will do all these things and more. Collectively, I will be made manifest through a body of souls in harmony with me. And together, the results of this will be the raising of the frequencies of this realm, as I have previously taught you. Darkness is of a very low frequency, but when my light and frequency invade through my remnant, the entire realm will experience a transition and an opportunity like never before. Those who have been trapped and bound by darkness, oppressed and persecuted, will have in their presence the very essence of me, the great I am, and I will open through you spiritually blind eyes and ears so they can finally clearly see the choice that I have given them that they have not been able to see in the past. There will be great clarity in the spirit as my presence will stand before them. Many, many will choose me and eternal life and the harvest will be plentiful, although my laborers have been few. Pray, my beloved ones, pray for my full measure of glory to be poured through you in order that you may walk in all that I have purposed for you in this great hour. You have come here just for this reason, and your entire life's journey has been in preparation for this season and this age. You have been chosen from before the foundation to complete this work for me, and we have found faith favor in your temples. All is in the moment of now, as I have showed to my daughter who writes for me in a vision, all of your time periods are one moment in my kingdom. It is only here in this realm that you operate under limitations of time and space. As I am outside of this, I see all in one moment, and this moment is now. This is how I see the end and the beginning together, and I can say in my word that there is nothing new. The past is the future, is the past. Because this is my truth, I know the incalculable outcomes of every single choice each soul has made in their journey here, or ever will make, and the results of that outcome in every minute detail. Even the slightest, smallest matter has meaning in my design, as you are all connected and integrated in me. There are an infinite amount of possibilities for one's journey, and the experience a soul has based on the tiniest of detail in a choice made. I have the outcome of all that one single choice in any given moment will make, only as the Creator and Infinite One can I manage what would be impossible for man? Yet I still bestow the greatest of mercy for my creation. Mercy is given because of my great love. There is not in existence a love like mine. Therefore, the opportunities for eternal life with me are only found in my ways and because of me, because of my love for you, and because of my son's sacrifice. The greatest of gifts from a father who loves you unconditionally has been given in that I gave you my son so that you would not be lost. 
I give you a choice so that you are not forced to love me. I give you a choice to allow you an opportunity to spend eternity with me instead of with Satan and all his dark kingdom. My mercy will now pour out in its greatest measure, and all will know that the King of Kings is come in his people, and for a short season, opportunity is given to choose life in a way I have not manifested previously. Then the great tribulation and end of this age will come, as I remove myself and my cherished ones from this place and allow wrath to consume the earth. Be full of joy, my children, and rejoice. My arrival is here, and nothing will be able to stop the flood of my presence in such love and mercy. You have waited so long for this season, and even the excitement in my kingdom is great, as all have prepared for this glorious event. Be strong and courageous, dear ones, and stand firm. Do not be afraid or discouraged. I am here. I am here. Heaven is come. Yahuwah Father, Yahushua the Son, and Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit. And that is the end of this message.